Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so uh, I've been doing a lot of these little uh, 5x7 frames and uh, stuff and I have had people say, oh, how do you do that? It's not, it's not hard. Just find you a frame, uh, I seal it up. Now sometimes it'll do this, it'll rip that off, but you know what I do? Uh, at the end, I rip all this off and I paint it. So it is a piece of art it is a refurbishing art so if people doesn't want it that's fine with me don't buy it but anyway that's what i do and i tape that up so that i don't get any leaks when i pour my resin and uh get that prepared and then i go to town doing what i want to do so on this particular um thing we're going to uh I'm going to put this, uh, you get it at Michael's, uh, you get it during Christmas, it's uh, referred to as yellow, but it's sort of like a, uh, it's not really yellow, it's, or, it's like a sand colored almost. Anyway, I'm going to, you get this at the holidays, so you have to grab it then, because after that it's gone. Uh, Miss Linda on crazy cat lady or glass lady she uh cat lady crazy glass lady she'll tell you when it's on sale or when it's in the store and she'll say go get you some so pay attention to her channel because she uh gives you the heads up as well so i'm going to put that in there as the um dirt road i'm going to call it and then i had this little brooch that i got off of uh timu and we're going to set that little guy on there. And, oh wait, I want to put him over a little bit. Oh, let me move that back down. Put him over just a little bit. And then uh, I got these flowers at um, Hobby Lobby. If you go into, um, if you go to Hobby Lobby, Hang on, I was trying to find the... Okay, here. If you go into Hobby Lobby, um, they're buttons. They're buttons. I got these. Uh, they're buttons. You can go into Hobby Lobby, and uh, they have their... Um, they call them Soology buttons. And if it's up to... From 0 to, uh, to three forty nine, I believe, they're only... Um, 99 cents and then 349 up to whatever is a dollar 99 so when i go in there i usually go over there and grab me a bunch of buttons because you can pop that little uh thing off the back of them and you can use them uh on your uh resin pieces uh that's what i do because they have some beautiful buttons in there and uh, Hobby Lobby is, uh, and it's always that price. Those prices are always there. You get that uh, percentage. Uh, that's how much you pay for them at all the time. So you can go in there anytime and get that. So anyway, I got that. And then I'm going to use some vitrograph glass that I get from JL Glass. And I'm going to use that as my stems. Put them in there and push it down in the glass. Then I have, uh, as you see me use these Timu uh, leaves all the time. I have these leaves. That I like to use with these little flowers.
gonna put these little leaves on these little flowers, just like that. And it is raining here. I hope you, I know you can hear it because I have a tin roof, so uh, if it gets too bad, I'll have to pause this for a minute. And then I have this beautiful little uh, dragonfly uh, brooch that I have off of Timu. We're going to make him, uh, we're going to put him on there to where he's like three dimensional and coming into the picture. also get this um, iridescent uh, glass from uh, Michael's at the holiday and I'm gonna make a little cloud with it. I'm gonna pull him off here for a minute. Okay. on there. Then, I don't have to pause yet, it's getting loud again. This is glass that I get at Hobby Lobby in their floral department because it has a glittery effect in it. I really like this. So, I'm going to pause it while it's raining and I'll be back. Okay, calm down enough to where I think I can do this. All right, um, I'm going to put in a little bit of that blue glass in between the clouds that I have made. I'm trying to mimic some sort of a faux sky up there. Or at least that's what I'm trying to do. think that's coming along. I'm trying to um, put a little bit um, of layering so that it'll, because when you're, when you don't have it sitting here on a background, it won't, it'll have too many gaps I believe. Or at least that's what my mind is telling me. <laughs> I may be wrong. Okay, I think I can live with that. Alright, now... I will place him. There we go. All right, and then I 
think I want to place a couple of these little um, bee flies, whatever they are. Less is more, right? Or at least that's what I think. Less is more. Alright. I think that, uh, I think that is, uh, the perfect amount of busyness in there. So now all I need to do is get me some resin and get that put into place. So, let me get some resin and I'll be back. Okay, now we have some resin. So let's get some resin on this little bad boy. I like to get the outline done so that I can be assured that the resin is going to the edge of the frame. And then you come back and do the inside. It's just a matter of getting your resin over all the pieces. Slow and steady wins the race. I love how it starts to really sparkle and shine when you put the resin to these pieces. And I know it's hard for you to see that, what I'm seeing. But once it's all cured up, then I'll be able to move it around a little bit and show you better effects. I want to make sure you get it all up underneath that little bicycle. It has a lot of intricate little details on there. drips off here. Okay, now I'm going to take my torch and get rid of some of the bubbles. And like all these little pieces, you have to babysit it. So I will come back about every 15 minutes and uh, 
make sure that uh, any bubbles has come up that I can take care of them. Like that little puppy right there. There you go. Because some of these little bubbles try to stick to the glass. As I've told you before, it does you can see them, they try to stick to the glass down at the bottom. So you gotta watch for them so that you can uh, bring them to the top and get them to pop. But I will come back every 15 minutes and uh, and get that and probably be cured in about seven hours maybe? Six or seven? So when it's cured, I'll be back. Hello everybody. Well, it's set up. And here it is. Isn't it cute? It turned out so cute. Very, very cute. And see, it's not, it's not hard to do. It's just not hard to do. Now on the back here, I think I'm, since this part is good, I think I'm gonna paint that. So it's just a matter of getting some black paint and uh, paint it on there and uh, take care of that so it won't look like, but it really turned out cute. So, now you know how easy it is to do one of these. It's just a matter of finding the little brooches and using it to your uh, mind's imagination. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I thank you for joining me, and I hope that um, you uh, learned something or it inspired you to do something as well. I um, really appreciate your time. I hope you stayed through the whole thing, and if you did, uh, and you're new to this channel, uh, could you consider subscribing to help me grow it? Uh, and if you did take the time to watch the video, could you give it a thumbs up? Don't even have to comment. Just put a smiley face. It just helps the metrics grow on the channel uh, for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, if, you, if you took the time, it would be great uh, to do that. Um, all the people that have been here all along, I really appreciate you for hanging out and sticking around. Uh, we're getting close to the 200 and when I get there I'm going to give uh, have a little giveaway so uh, maybe if you can subscribe like share comment and uh, help me grow my channel get it up to 200 we'll have a little giveaway so um, with that being said have a blessed day I really appreciate you and uh, we'll see what we can do the next time for now bye